I was watching another Sister of Christ video today about one of her dreams and it really made me shudder when I put some serious thoughts into what she said. She asked the Lord, what will it be like here on earth when his Holy Spirit is no longer present here? I want you to really think about that for a minute. I can tell you from personal experience that I do not smell good to certain people. What I mean by this is when you are walking with the Holy Spirit, you become offensive to others for no particular reason. I've had a handful of people get upset with me, even without mentioning anything at all about my own beliefs. John 15, 18 and 19, if the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it will love you as its own, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. I'm going to be honest, I spent a major part of my life not praying and not having a close relationship with Jesus Christ. But looking back over the years, I can tell you that he wasn't too far away from me. I'll give you a few examples. Um, and these are like real examples. You're gonna be a little bit shocked probably, I don't know, or maybe not. When I was six or seven years old, I fell out of a moving car on the highway. True story. I was sitting in the front seat in the passenger seat and I didn't have a seatbelt on because if I was six years old, this was back in 80, two, maybe 83. Uh, nowadays, I mean, I think I, I definitely was under 80 pounds, so I would have had at least a booster seat and a seat belt, but I didn't have either one, and the door wasn't fully shut. I leaned up against it, and I fell out of the car. Crazy thing is, uh, I walked away from that with just mild scrapes and bruises. So don't anyone tell me that Jesus Christ wasn't there <laughs> for me that day. Um, when I was around 13 years old, 12 or 13, I fell out of a tree head first. Like literally, I fell out of a tree and hit my head on the ground head first. So I should have been paralyzed or, or it should have killed me. I should have been paralyzed, it should have killed me. Um, people who dive into a shallow pool head first and I had nothing from the tree that I fell out of to hitting the ground. There was nothing to slow the impact at all. So yeah, Jesus Christ was there for me then. Uh, when I was around 14 years old, um, I nearly died with a temperature of 105. Uh, my brain should have been completely fried. But I'm still here. <laughs> um, I could give you at least 100 more smaller examples, but I'm not going to go on and on and on. Um, Praise Jesus. <laughs> uh, any event, truth be told, even though this world is insufferable, can you just imagine what it will feel like when his presence is no longer here? Dead. That's all I can imagine 
Uh, you know those movies when something traumatic happens and in the scene the person uh, goes deaf because they're so shocked and dismayed? If this doesn't haunt you, it should. If you think this world is a nightmare now, you haven't seen or experienced anything yet. Imagine never feeling clean. There will no longer be thoughts of love within you. Everything will taste bitter and you will only be seeing through a murky glass. Be scared of this message and build your relationship with Jesus Christ now. Don't wait till it's too late. That was really hard to write. Um, I hope whoever's watching this takes this message very seriously and thinks about what I just said because if you think it's bad now you really haven't seen anything if if there is no love surrounding you and only death surrounds you There are no words. I will pray for everyone and I will pray that you really consider what I said. So thank you so much.